Hey Engagement fans, welcome back to the Engagement Studio. My name is Aaron Brown. I'm an Insights Analyst here at Quanta Workplace and today I'm joined by Katie Strayler, Chief Human Resources Officer at Raymond. Thanks for joining us today, Katie. Thanks for having me. So today we're talking about tips for first-time managers and we all kind of know the story. A rock star employee, a superstar employee gets promoted to be a manager of a team and inevitably sometimes things go wrong. Uh, maybe they're not exactly prepared for the management side of the business. So what tips as HR, you know, it's kind of our responsibility, what tips can HR provide first-time managers to help them be successful? Great question. Um, so I guess my, my response will have somewhat of a theme to it. Um, and that theme is seek first to understand. Um, and seek first to understand can, of course, take on a lot of different meanings depending on the type of person you are. So I'll kind of break it down as to what it means to me as an HR professional. Um, first, as it relates to seek first to understand is as a new manager, understanding um, that the individuals that work with you, work for you, they're not just employees, they're actually human beings as well. Um, so getting to a place where you can see them truly as people and not just the work product and the work that they do day in and day out. Um, so in order to get to that place, it really does take some questioning, some curiosity, um, those types of things to, to get to know the people on, on your team. So seeing them truly as people would be probably my first piece of advice. My second piece of advice really relates to the work that they do itself. And I think new managers go into a position thinking, gosh, in order for me to be effective as a manager and as a leader, I need to know every single thing that they do from the moment they walk in that building until they leave. Um, and from my perspective and my advice that I give to new managers, is, that is truly not the case. Um, you need to know enough to be able to certainly support them and you need to know enough to be able to give them feedback in those moments where they need a little bit of feedback to bring them to be the best that they can possibly be. Um, but again, walking into those positions thinking, you know, I need to know every single move that this person makes is it's truly, it's, it's not a necessity. It's just getting to that place where you understand enough to coach them and celebrate their successes and give them some good feedback along the way too. And then my last piece of advice under this uh, seek first to understand would be, so this is really less related to the team that's being managed and more related to the individual that's going into that first leadership role. And that's just stopping and pausing and really doing some self-reflection. So in that self-reflection, it's, um, it's asking yourself a few questions. It's asking yourself, you know, what type of leader do I really wanna be for my team? What type of tone do I wanna set? Um, what type of legacy do I wanna leave for my team and for this organization um, as I eventually move on? So really being intentional about thinking through the type of manager and the type of leader that you wanna be and not just getting to a place where you're thinking through it, getting to a place where you're writing it down and you're holding yourself accountable to it and you're revisiting that content and that information regularly and you share that information for who's leading you so then they can hold you accountable to the type of leader that you wanna be. Um, so again, those are probably the, the three um, key areas under that seek first to understand that I draw out and I provide to new leaders in my organization. Oh, that's great. I think the, the wonderful thing about that three-step model is that can really be applied to the employees that are responding to that first new, new leader, that new manager. Like Absolutely. They can empathize, they can figure out kind of what, what it is they want from their leader and how they want to be as an employee for them. Yeah. Um, so I think it kind of goes both ways, that really that empathy, that human aspect of it is so important. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Katie, uh, for the tips today. Those were the tips on how to uh, be better at being a first-time manager and how you can utilize your human resources department in order to help you succeed every day. Thanks, Engagement fans. Let's go make work better every day. Thank you.